right, so just made it to the flea market, dropping off the last of these prints as well as the sneakers for EJ. Uh, we're doing flea market things early on this morning. Maybe hit up a yard sale or something on the way back. But it's going to be a scorcher here shortly. It's going to be a scorcher here shortly. It's going to get up to about 89 today and then 96 tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm setting up, so we'll see how this goes. One piece? Huh? Was it one piece or was it cut like oh, this? It was actually, I had like old Schmidt's beer ones. Oh, okay. They were cool. need that so I want to get that mm -hmm. hey do you have a bag by any chance right there on the shelf right on your left hand yeah I'll get that open eventually <laughs> <laughs> almost as bad as in the store yeah all right got some scrap brass a bunch of antlers and one socket. Grab this one, but it's the 49ers. It's like one of ours seems to sell for some reason. Yeah. You want beer tomorrow? Bring up that silver plate if you are. Silverware? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the flatware. Alright. So you going beer? Yes, sir. Alright. Oh, you're out of inventory. Now all of a sudden you got stuff? I got enough for one week. Cool. Yeah. I'm going to bring up all, I have a bunch of CDs. Oh, yeah? Baseball hats? Yeah, I got a lot of baseball hats. <laughs> Yeah. No, I think this is the way for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you want it? It's kind of scratched. 
get them up there. Both of them for two bucks? I don't need these. No? No. What's happening, man? Not much. Make some match yourself something all good together. Alright. You look at Pyrex too, man? Yeah, the knees collects a little bit. Alright. See what well, you want you want to pick some out? Uh, let's see what's here. That's not fun. She don't like the greens. Uh, I think we have a silver. That's that's good stuff, dude. Right yeah. there. You should take that. I like that. This is a good one too. Yeah. She has that, but I think it's a she. It's like this set, but that print. Okay. Dish for yeah. that set. <laughs> Did you want the fridge? No. Nah. It's kind of scratched. Yeah. Did you want this one? deal there with the Pyrex. Five bucks for four pieces. Some One piece was a really good piece. The rest are just kind of eh. But Pyrex is kind of hard to find. What are you asking on this? Missing the big one. Am I completely off? So it's like two. I think it's worth it for four bucks. They're two for three this week. I don't know these are, guys. This one, I would grab this, but it's not autographed. And this one's not autographed either. So wrapping up this flea market episode, got a bunch of random stuff. It's kind of crazy how like once in a while I'll come across a lot of Pyrex and I won't come across any Pyrex. Uh, today it was no different. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about my buys here. So we'll just start off. This was one of my later buys. Uh, I had someone comment about how I should have grabbed the Avalanche one. I didn't even see the Avalanche one. I only saw the Hershey Bears. I think this was from probably two weeks ago. I don't remember last week or if it was last week or the week before that he had all these hockey pucks. Um, but I definitely would have grabbed this one if I saw it uh, just because this is NHL. I mean, you ever get an NHL autographed hockey puck with the card also autographed? You know, for as cheap as it was, um, definitely, definitely a good buy there. Uh, so I grabbed this one. I think the Black Diamond Upper Deck set is actually pretty expensive, those cards. But this is an on-card autograph. 
Also, if a hockey puck would have loved this to be New York Rangers stuff, but it's not. Uh, Hershey Bears, kind of local minor league hockey. Or I guess the Avalanche as well. I didn't, uh, didn't know who they were affiliated for. I don't even know if they're still an affiliated team. They must be. Um, but neat. Nonetheless, two for three bucks. I mean, the pucks alone are worth that. Uh, got a lot of Pyrex here. Got some antlers. These are just like... I don't know, is it in a fire for a dollar bin, which is really rare to kind of come across. This is a Napa socket. I did need some deep sockets, and this looks like it might be a 3 8 inch drive uh, for my impact impact uh, impact wrench that I got. That might not that might be a quarter inch. I don't know. But for five for for a dollar, I think I'll spend a little bit of money. And we got some brass here, which will probably just be thrown into the scrap pile this one needs you gotta take that candle out uh this is town and country i like this set uh it's not very sought after it's not very expensive either neither is any of these three um but it's a unique bowl it's the really large one i think this is what a 404 maybe is what they're called take yep no it's a 444 all right uh this is i think harvest wheat this also, this set isn't really worth a lot if you have a complete set. And this is just a yellow bowl, which might go to a yellow set, which also isn't worth too much. But uh, he threw in this one. This is the one that I was after. This is your pink, your pink uh, gooseberry. I think there's orange gooseberry, maybe. That's the only one in the gooseberry set that's worth a little bit more money. Um, this is a good bowl. This is like a $40 to $50 bowl or refrigerator dish uh, so he did five bucks for all four pieces which is an excellent deal if you can ever get pyrex really for under two bucks a piece you really can't go wrong i didn't grab the other ones just because they're very common um and to try to flip them you know it, you're really not going to make you might make a dollar a bowl you know for the price i sell stuff for people are going to try a nickel and dime me anyway so i didn't grab them i did come across the other what was it well it was this size for this set but she wanted five bucks and this one for the gooseberry is only like a seven to fifteen dollar piece after shipping and everything it really isn't worth much now if they had the other piece so they had this one and then they had the smaller one which would complete this set i would definitely have picked it up uh because if you can ever find a set of pyrex you're always going to make more money the pink gooseberry obviously you want to have the set to try to sell the set and you're looking at like 100 or 110 dollars for a complete set uh, so if they would have had the two, two, they would have had those two pieces that go with it rather than just the one piece. I would have paid five bucks or ten bucks, but just selling one dish individually, it's only like a seven to twelve dollar dish on eBay. Uh, so I decided not to grab that. Uh, and lastly, I grabbed this. I think I call it Americana Pyrex for four bucks. It's an excellent deal if you can ever find a set, complete set like this for four dollars. Is this one is uh, one of their latest ones they ever made before they stopped creating Pyrex. Um, but it is missing, I believe, this one. If I'm right. Yeah. So yeah, the Gooseberry, I think a complete Gooseberry set would have had this one and these two. It wouldn't just be this one and that one uh, to make a complete set. So it should be, I think, four pieces, not three. Regardless, there wasn't a complete set of this there, so I'm not too worried about it. But overall, another very, very fun day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yet another treasure hunt. It's been a blast. Starting to get a little warm here. I know tomorrow it's going to be a scorcher. I'm going to quickly try to pack up my van before it gets pretty hot today. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want to see more treasure hunts just like this, subscribe down below. And I'll catch you guys next time for our next adventure. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.